Welcome back to Ashley's Little by Nursery. I'm Ashley, and in today's video, we have little Macy, one of the twins I have on camera, and we're going to join in on on Wednesdays. We wear pink, so I'm going to change her into an outfit that is pink themed. Um, I don't want to take her in this pumpkin um, one piece because she looks so cute in it, but I do want to change her um, into something else as well. It's like a bittersweet thing. She looks so cute in this outfit. Um, but yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't changed her on camera in, in a while, so I'm going to have her participate in Wednesdays Wear Pink. together so she's gonna wear this long sleeve pink onesie that says daddy's girl and it has a pink oh uh, sorry a gold sparkly crown in the middle and this is by bundle uh sorry bundles baby place so cute so she's gonna like that with these cute little bloomers that have different colored polka dots but there is pink in it so she can wear that with this shirt I think would look so adorable and then we're gonna pair it with these white socks with pink crowns on the sides and then for her hair I'm gonna put this pink flower headband and then her pepsi is white and pink so there's her outfit for on Wednesdays we were pink. Okay. I'm also gonna change her diaper and brush her hair. So let's get her going. I hope everybody is having a good week so far. We're heading closer to the end of the month. It's almost Halloween. I just can't believe this year's already almost, well, it's not almost over, but we're just a few months away, like not even three months away of it being finished, you know, until the next, until the new year comes. So I'm pretty, I'm a little bummed, but I'm excited for new beginnings. So yeah, it's exciting. She's going to look so adorable in her outfit. Okay. Obviously, I'm not going to change Maverick because I feel like pink is more for girls, depending on what it is. But I think, well, sorry, when I think pink, I think of girls. So, and my favorite color is pink. And I'm a woman, and I'm very feminine. So, I feel like pink is more suitable for girls. white long sleeve romper on her. It is a bit chilly and I don't want her to get too cold. Or I, I don't want her to get cold at all. I want her to stay warm. So I'm going to leave the onesie on, the white onesie. We're going to put, put the pink one right over it. So I got these um, pumpkin rompers or one piece, whatever you want to call them, on Amazon. And I did get a third one and it was more of a um, I wouldn't say orange. It was like um, like an orangey brown color background, and it had white ghosts all over it. That one was so cute, but for some reason, they I guess they probably didn't have it in stock because I ended up getting a refund for that onesie. Or sorry, sleep um, one piece. So I didn't end up getting it. I just have the two right now. I'm gonna try to get a third one because I think they're so cute. I think I want to try to get every print that they have. Yeah. Let's give her a quick little comb out. Okay. She is so cute. She is so cute. 
Like she looks precious even in just this one day. Aww, you are so cute. <gasps> Yummy. <laughs> I'm gonna get her a diaper ready so that I can change her. Put some of this aside. Okay. Need a diaper change. But um, um, I'm soon actually gonna start my Christmas shopping. I know I shouldn't be talking about it right now because we haven't even you know, past Halloween, but, like we haven't, yeah, we haven't gone through Halloween yet, but, um, I feel like shopping early for Christmas is always a smart idea, because when you, when it gets closer to the actual day, the stores become so crowded, and then they might not end up having what you need, because it could be sold out from everybody else shopping before you, you know, so it's like, I'd rather be safe like when it comes to last minute stuff, I'd rather not be that person. So I'm gonna attempt at shopping early this year. Um, I say this every year. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't, but it doesn't hurt to try. Yeah, this year is coming to an end really quick. I feel like and it, I feel like it goes by quicker once October hits. Once October hits, that's it. The year is pretty much done. <laughs> I hate to say it. I don't want to be, you know, one of those people. But it's true. That's why I'm, as like, as I get older, I'm starting to appreciate every season. You know, the benefits that every season brings you. And the beauty that it brings you. And, um... Just everything about, you know, the environment, the world itself, nature. I, I'm starting to appreciate appreciate it all more rather than looking at it for just what it can give me. Um, but, um, and then once I start, you know, paying attention to all these things and appreciating them more, that's what I noticed time is a little bit slower. You know, it doesn't go by as quick because I'm actually taking the time to notice these things, these small things in life that every day we just let it pass by us, you know? because her artist, um, while rooting her, she did two hairs at a time in a hole, or maybe more than two hairs, because some of the holes are a little bit more pluggy than others, um, but it's not easy to see it because, because her hair is very thick, like thickly rooted on, so it's hard to see those pluggy, the pluggy parts, um, but for the most part, her hair is fine. I still have to take her head off and probably reseal her glue, but I love her so much. I don't want to take her apart. I don't. That's why I have plastic under her hair all the time to protect it from being pulled on the fabric and more of it coming out. I do brush her hair, but not as often as the other babies. So her, I'm very, like, very careful with because of her hair. Um, she's so cute though oh my god look at her i love the way she sculpted she feels like like a curled up new baby when i hold her from everybody and I thank you very much for your kind words and 
you know, sharing your opinion on certain things or just just for your comments in general. I love reading your comments. Thank you very much. Especially when I'm at work, if I'm having like a really shitty day. Excuse my language. Well, this channel is not intended for kids anyway, so I, if I want to swear, I'm going to swear. Anyways, <laughs> um, uh, if I'm having a really bad day at work and I get a notification from, you know, my YouTube and it says, you know, someone commented or so-and-so reacted and whatever the case may be, but usually comments, you know, I love seeing comments. So even if I'm busy, I could be in a customer's house, I will still read the comments and reply to them if I have the chance to and that right, then, what, right then and there because I love reading your comments that much. So thank you very much to my subscribers for, you know, keeping up with my videos and listening to what I say and actually commenting and giving me your feedback. I truly appreciate it. Oh my goodness, you're looking so cute already. Are you daddy's girl? I don't know. I think you're more of a mommy's girl. <laughs> she looks so cute in this one. Like, oh my god. I'm just gonna show you before I finish dressing her. He looks so far. She looks so cute. <laughs> These bloomers came home with Linda, but I I don't tend to, like if, whatever babies I bring home, the clothing that they come with, I don't tend to only use that wardrobe on that specific baby, you know what I mean? Like I like to share it between the other babies, especially when it's something that you know is gonna look so cute on one of your other babies. If they're just baby clothes. No, it's not like the doll's gonna get upset that you're sharing their clothes with another baby. Um, so that's that's how I feel about the clothes. I just share them amongst all the babies. Oh my goodness, Macy, you look so precious. Yeah, these socks came home with Charlotte, and then the bloomers are from Kara. This onesie I bought in a pack of other onesies and pants that you can mix and match from the mall right next to where I live. <clears throat> I bought it like a couple years ago. Okay, now you've got your pretty headband on, but mommy's gonna sit you on the bed too. So it's to mention in the beginning of the video but this that she's laying on it's not a blanket it's a scarf and it's a beautiful pink knitted scarf that was made in Italy and my mother-in-law gave it to me so it is a winter scarf but I thought it would be so cute for this video look at her doesn't she look so sweet in her little pink outfit for Wednesday Wednesdays we were pink, pretty and pink. Oh, <laughs> she's so precious. I can't get enough. So, I hope you enjoyed watching me change my precious Macy in her little outfit for today. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about her outfit. Um, if you want to see a specific baby in my next video let me know in the comments below if you have any requests for 
you know, a, a certain kind of video, um, let me know in the comments. I would love to make a video for for my subscribers. So if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Um, give this video a like, a comment, a dislike if you don't like it. I'm open to any kind of feedback, just no negative comments, please. <clears throat> but um, yeah, thank you for stopping by, you guys. I really love making these videos for you guys. It, it, it makes me, I don't know, I just, I feel like I, I have an audience, even though you're not really here. I just, I love doing this for you guys. It's, it's a lot of fun and it makes me very creative. Um, I love coming up with, you know, different ideas, different topics to chat with you guys about and get your opinion and just know where you stand with certain things because um, it, it matters to me. So, yeah. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed watching. And leave a comment on what you think about Macy's cute little pink outfit for today's theme. And as always, everybody, take care and stay safe. Until next time, bye-bye.